Hello everyone, welcome to Downtown Tailoring. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a huge alteration I did on a men's trouser. This alteration was so big and I was so busy at the time that I almost didn't take it, but my customer was so excited about it that I couldn't say no, so I did it. Let's go. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. I am so proud of this job and my customer loved it. So I have to show you guys. I couldn't make it as a tutorial because it would have been like a four hours tutorial or something like that, super long, so much job to do. But if you want me to make a tutorial on any of the details I work with, please let me know because there are so many lessons to be learned from this job. They are this new style of pants with elastic and a drawstring. Oh, my customer don't like it at all, but he loves the material and the lines. So he wanted me to transform it. And then I suggested to get a second pair and we can shorten. And with the material of the leg, we can then redo the waistband and make it the way he like it. Let me show you the label. It's a very nice combination of wool and cashmere. Drawstring just for the shorts. Our long pant will be like a regular normal pants. He brought his favorite pants and as you can see it's full of detail. The waistband has a strap with the buttonhole and the long part has the buttonhole hidden. And we have a small coin pocket as well with the buttonhole, but the bell loop coming through it. You know, it was so many details that even for me, I felt a little bit overwhelmed, but I will tell you how I solved that problem. So first of all, we have to divide and decide which pant will be the short and which will be the long pants. And with the long pants, they, they are both the same. For the long pants, what I did is to open the waistband and remove it because I'm going to put a new one. And I want to show you something very important. You know, I'm very savage opening, using my blade. But in this case, I am really careful because you don't want to damage at all this material. So I kind of pull and then I just touch the thread, touch the thread. And this is the way I open. The only thing that we are not going to do exactly the same is the back. And we don't want to open that. And we are not going to put the loop at the back. That's the only thing. But everything will be the same. So after I open my waistband, the zipper is just loose and it's very important that I add a safety pin. So if I close the zipper, I won't lose the slider. <laughs> that's very important and that happens to all of us. Don't say that did never happen to you. Don't say that, that happens. So I finish and I open all my waistband and I'm gonna use the top of the waistband. I will remove all the elastic and everything. And I'm gonna do one of the sides of the, the waistband, the long one, because um, this side is so long that I cannot really do it with the rest of the material of the pants. So then I proceed to measure the old pants and the new pants to compare to see, because usually if the new pants has elastic, that means that the waist has to be taken in because there was a space for the elastic. So the first thing I have to do is to measure everything to know how much of the waist I have to take in before I started to sew. And the easiest way is just to put them both together and then I mark the side at the front and then I'm going to take that much at the sides. I know that at the back I will have to take a little bit more as well, but I will leave this one until the end. And as you can see, when you take the sides in a pair of dress pants, you have to pretty much open the pockets and leave the lining of the pocket free and then you can take in at the side and then you have to close that again. So 
you know, with the dress trousers, everything came a little bit more complicated, but we are going to make everything. When I start sewing, I try to choose not the best color match of the pants, but the color that the original maker are using. That way, when I stitch everything in my pants, always looks more like if that were the original seam, you know? This is the back part, and I have to open as well the back. And as you can see, they did a combination of chain stitch and straight stitch. So this one is very secure, very firm. This is a very good quality pants. It's really, really nice. So I have to keep going very slowly and very carefully because of course, I don't want to make any mistakes with these pants. This job requires a lot of focus, so I don't want to waste my focus correcting my mistakes. <laughs> so let's just not make them. So you see, the sides are already sewn, and I'm open the seam, and then I'm iron the pocket, and then I will sew that back. So the next step is to work with the waistband. I want to copy everything the same way, and I'm measuring the waistband, and it's pretty much standard measurement but anyways I'm gonna make a pattern on paper and I honestly don't know why why I got these pencils and they are not sharpened Ugh, well oh, extra job so basically I'm gonna draw what will be the top of my waistband and then from the bottom part I'm gonna use standard material that is uh, for waistband. The thing is that when I pulled my material, I realized that it was not the cotton style and I started to look everywhere and then I realized that I just didn't have it. So I have to order and I just took the opportunity as well to order a little bit more dark gold black and anti-slippery you know because i do not present that but i do a lot of work for men a lot on my tailoring shop so now i can work and from here i'm going to show you some details for example this is the coin pocket i ask my colleague to help me with some details for example he did all the bottoms hole for me he's an artist of the hand buttonholes as you can see, this is a pretty standard waistband that is sewn in the normal way. And before I attempt to sew the waistband onto the pants, I have to be sure that I finish every detail that goes in between, like the pocket, the loop, you know, all the details. Then I sew everything in place, piece by piece, and this is me just sewing the last button and here you go this is all done as you can see it has all the details the double buttons for the waistband and they are i don't know if you can see it but they are in the inside so you cannot see the buttons outside this is the pocket with the details of the button and it's so cute and this is the side with the buckle. The way that those are sewn is very interesting because you basically scarf the material inside and nobody really see that. I learned that 20 years ago when I was doing a men trousers course. And this is the pant number one. It will be now a short. And this is the pant number two will be a dress pant for my customer when he came to pick up he was so happy and i was very happy because that was a big job so guys i hope that you have enjoyed this journey if you find this video useful please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe share comment bye